Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Rotary Craft tutorial series. Following on from the last episode, which we were talking about the ground penetrating radar, we're now talking about the cave scanner. Yet another machine that can be used to survey the land, and they work quite well together. Um, so first, let's take a look at how to craft it. So the cave scanner is crafted quite simply, anyway, with four HSLE steel ingots, a sonar unit, three base panels, and a circuit board. And the sonar unit is simply a note block, a circuit board, some redstone, and some steel. So the cave scanner is a very simple machine, um, just like the ground penetrating radar. It requires 131,072 watts of power. So torque and speed are not uh, important to the cave scanner. So in this case, I'm just giving it the output of a uh, AC engine. If we place it down, it takes in power from any side. And now we can see there's this white cube, this quite large uh, white cube. Um, this is like, I think, a, a it seems like more than 16 blocks. But anyway, this is a, uh, it, it, maybe it's a chunk sized cube. But anyway, within this cube, the cave scanner will project these little dots. So do you see these on this leaf block here? It's like a little a little orange dot, little dot there, little dots on the corners of the blocks. What the cave scanner does is it detects the interface between a block and the air. And so everywhere you see a dot is a block that is touching the corner of a block that is touching the air. All right. Now this doesn't do us a whole lot of good up here above the ground, but we can actually move the square around by right clicking on the cave scanner. So if I want to push this cube down underground, I can just face uh, down, in this case while sending on top of it, and I can right click a few times, and you can see that it moves the cube down. I can move the cube down until it's all the way underground. I think, yeah, that's underground. Yeah, that's down there. And now we can see that there's dots down there. So if we, you see that there's some dots over there, not, not any dots here. If we right click here, we can push it sideways. And now what we see is there's a whole lot of dots. We're also seeing the dots, funnily enough, for this tunnel that we carved way earlier. And if I go down here, we can see that the cave scanner is actually highlighting the very same Barrow from Chromaticraft that we used our ground penetrating radar to find. It's highlighting this tunnel and it's highlighting this cave. So, do you see how everywhere there's a block touching air, we get a dot? Now, the colors of the dots have to do with depth. So, if we head back up, if I can find my way out of here, how do I end up in? Here, don't fly up. I get a little disoriented. It's not it's it's easy to get a little disoriented with all the dots in your face if you're inside the cube. But if we go back over to the cave scanner and we push it down a bit more, you can see that some of these dots are turning red now. Now some dots have turned like a dark purple now. Shove it over. And if we come over here, you can see there's a very large cave system over here. And it can be very useful to find, uh, to know that because then you want to go caving instead of branch mining or strip mining, and now you know there's a cave down there. And as the dots turn red and orange, it's representing the, uh, the depth. So now if we come over here, maybe like right here, start digging straight down, since we know there's a cave down there. We eventually hit this cave, which is like the green cave, which is a bit higher up. But if we keep going down, hello, cat and witch, witches. I don't know why there's witches down here. Were there witches? We can find there's this lower down cave. These two cats. So very useful for finding caves. Now it doesn't let you know what ores are around. If you wanted to do to find out what kind of ores are in the cave that you found, you're going to have to use the ground penetrating radar. The cave scanner will show you, hey, there's a cave down there. Maybe you want to investigate further. And of course, if you know the shapes of various caves, you can find specific 
uh, world gem. Like uh, chasms tend to be very uh, distinct. They tend to have you know very uh, steep sides, and they go down really far. So it's pretty easy to find a chasm. You can see that if it goes down really far. It's probably a chasm. Um, and that those could be useful for finding ores. Or say you want to find ores at a specific level, well you can search for caves at that level. Very useful in conjunction with the ground penetrating radar. Once you find your cave, you can obviously place your ground penetrating radar in the area and move it back and forth and scanning the ores. So that's the cave scanner pretty much. You can uh, move the cave scanner's uh, cube in every direction, including up, although to move it back up you have to be basically underneath the cave scanner because you have to be able to face up when you do it. But other than that, you can push it in all the directions. And since you can see it in the world, it makes it very easy to, uh, to use. So that's the case scanner. Quite a simple machine. Quite an interesting use. And um, you should find it useful. Oh, see, it doesn't matter what side of the case scanner you click on. What matters is the direction that you're facing. And hello. That's like a foot football shaped cave down here. Let's see it could be something specific. Now I'm interested. Oh, no, it's just a weird shit cave. I thought maybe it was like a barrow or something. Okay. But anyway, that's the cave scanner. As you can see it makes it very easy to find caves. So there you go. That's basically it. It's a very simple device. It does what it's supposed to do, and that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. In the future here we'll be talking about the item sorter and a couple other things. Um, I will be getting back to the fusion plant build and stuff like that, but it, that it takes a lot of time. I haven't had time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.